Hi, this is John Dreyer. In this video, we're looking at the Squire Affinity PJ Bass Pack. Now, the packs are a great option if you're a first-time player um, because it has everything you need in one box. We have uh, not only the bass, but we also have a gig bag, we have the amplifier, then we have a guitar cable and a guitar strap. So let's unbox everything, see what it looks like. We'll plug it all together, and then we'll see what it sounds like. So let's dive in. All right, so once we have everything out of the pack box, just to make sure we have all the pieces, let's review what we should have. We have your bass in its own box. You have your gig bag. There's the Rumble 15 bass amp. And then this little white box here that has all the accessories. So we have your strap. We have your instrument cable. And then lastly, we have a set of Allen wrenches for any adjustments you might need to do on the base. Now let's set it all up. I already unboxed the amp. We'll take a look at that in a second. But for now, let's take a look at the base. Uh, first thing you'll notice here, uh, there's a three month free offer from Fender Play. So your first three months will be free if you're a first time player. Again, a great opportunity to learn how to play some bass or to brush up on some of your skills. So let's put that aside for now. And don't forget to take advantage of that, okay? All right, let's open up the base. Let's see what we got here. All right, mm, this looks great. All right, so we can drop this down so it's not in the way. Uh, let's take a quick look at the parts of the base and what they all do. We can start here with the headstock, which is this part up here. We have your machine heads or tuners, which is how you tune the base. Uh, your nut, this is your neck with all the frets, and that's attached to the body. So on the body, we have your pick guard. Now there's a, a plastic film on the pick guard that you want to pull away uh, to uh, reveal a beautiful black pick guard. You can do that. Uh, these are your pickups. This is the P pickup, the J pickup. This is your bridge with the saddles. On the controls, we have a volume for each pickup and then a master tone control. So you can focus on only one pickup, either or, or you can blend the two together. And then we have your strap pins. This is where you'll attach your guitar strap. We'll talk about that in a second. There's one here and there's one here. So that's the quick overview of the bass itself. All right, so let me show you how to put the strap on. All right, so here's your strap, and I typically like to use the strap where the logo, whatever it might be, is facing uh, out in front of the base here. So let's put that side on first. I'm simply gonna take where the cutout is here, and then put it over that pin, and then pull up just to secure, make sure it's uh, good to go. All right, now the other end, goes on to the pin in the back of the base. Now, this strap is a little bit too short, but I can extend it. I'm just gonna pull this down, extend it out a bit here, and then pick up the slack. And I can drape it over my shoulder here, and then attach the other end of the strap to the end pin. Same deal. All right, just make sure that's secure. Now, you are ready to play. All right, so now let's plug the bass into the bass amp. And we do that with our instrument cable, like we have here from the pack. Now, to get the sound out of the bass, we want to go to your output jack here. So we'll take one end of the cable and plug it into the output jack of the bass, just like that. And then we'll take the other end of the cable and we plug it into the input jack of the bass amp, just like that. All right, and just a quick rundown on the features of the bass amp. So we have your input jack where you're plugged into. There's a volume. Three band EQ, bass, middle, treble to fine tune your tone. Auxiliary in for an audio source you can jam along with tracks. And then a headphone jack for private practice. All right, so amp is mic'd up. I'm gonna take the tags out of the strings. I'm gonna peel the plastic off of the pickups. All right, peel this one off here. And then off of the J pickup as well. All right, just discard this stuff for now. All right, so now let's turn the amp on. We'll set some tones and then we'll get in tune. All right, so let's get the switch here for the amp. And then I'm just gonna set pretty much everything uh, at noon. Just a nice flat EQ. Okay, and then turn the amp up a little bit. So it sounds like this. All right, so for tuning, there's any number of options to tune your bass. I'm going to use my Fender Tune app. A great way to tune your bass. All right, so let's go ahead and get in tune. Start with my G here. Great. 
Okay. A. And then finally, low E. All right, so now we're in tune. And just to give you an example of the types of tones available to you with this bass, with the J and the P bass, let's hear the J pick up first. A little brighter, a little more snap to that tone. Here's the P for comparison. So a little bit more boom in that tone. Now you can combine the two. So lots of different tones available in this bass. So there you go, that's the Squire Affinity PJ Bass Pack. Everything you need to play bass all in one box. And I took the tags off and the plastic off the pickguard and the machine heads. This is a great looking bass. If you're just unboxing yours, go have some fun. If you need some more information, you can go to Fender.com and stay tuned here for more videos. Mm.